In this video, I will show you how to set up Fluent to run the calculations on a remote server. For this tutorial, I am using Swanson 12 workstation in the Swanson Computer Lab. First, go to the control panel, click Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, and click Local Area Connection. Then go to Properties, and choose Internet Protocol version 4. Click Properties again, and here click Advanced. Go to the DNS tab and under append these DNS suffixes, click add and here you should type in mae.cornell.edu and click add. Since I've already done this, I'm just going to cancel. Click OK and close off all the remaining windows. Now what we want to do is map the network drive. So let's go to my computer. Click map network drive. And for the drive you don't have to worry about it. You can just choose a letter or leave it as default. Under folder type in double backslash en dash ma dash simcafe1 backslash workspace and then click finish. Now the map folder should pop up. If it doesn't, you can just go back to my computer and under network location you should see uh, the folder you just mapped. Okay, now we're ready to open Fluent. Let's go back to the desktop right now. Start menu and then run Fluent. Make sure you check Use Job Scheduler. It's already checked for me. And then for the number of processes, you can choose as many as you want. In the working directory, make sure you type in the drive letter of the folder you just mapped. In fluent root path, type in double backslash en dash ma dash simcafe1 backslash fluent. Let's go to parallel settings. There's nothing we have to do. Go to scheduler. And under computer cluster head node name, make sure you type in en dash ma dash simcafe one dot mae dot cornell dot edu under environment tab you don't have to check that unless you are using a UDF now you can click OK to launch Fluent after Fluent launches you can just set up the solution the methods and controls as you would normally and then run the calculations when you're ready You can check the progress of the Fluent Solver by going to Start Menu and searching HPC Job Manager. After it launches, on the left hand side you should see an Active Job section, which is right there. And I'm not running anything right now, but if you were, you would see the progress of the Fluent Solver.